So I made a video a while ago on how to set up your bass, how to adjust the truss rod and the bridge saddles and adjust your action, which is a very basic setup that everyone needs to do on their bass when they first get it. And I got a few comments from people saying that they're still getting a buzz on certain frets, no matter what they do. And that's actually a pretty common issue, especially with more affordable basses such as this one. And I'm actually having that issue with this bass, which is perfect, because then I can demonstrate it for you and show you what's going on. So I have the action on this bass pretty high, high enough that I shouldn't get any buzz anywhere. And for the most part, I'm not. So if I play like the third fret right here, sounds fine. If I play the 10th fret, that sounds fine, 12th fret. But now if I play the 8th fret right here, check this out. See, I'm getting that buzz. It's really more of like a rattle. And why is that happening? I mean, the action's high. I'm getting nothing here, nothing here. And all of a sudden on the 8th fret, I'm getting this weird rattle. So what's going on is actually the frets. The frets are uneven. So all the frets need to be the same height. But if one of them is a little off, you'll get that rattle from the string hitting that fret that's off. And so I'm assuming one of these frets here is off and is a little bit higher, and that's why I'm getting that rattle just on one fret. And that's not something that you can fix with the truss rod or the bridge saddles or any of that. You actually have to get a fret dress, which is basically when they file down the fret to get the frets all to be the same height, to be even. And you're gonna have to take it to a professional to get that done. That's not something that's easy to do or to learn because you know you don't want to file it over file it and get then get it lower than the other ones you know so I would recommend it taking it to someone like I said it's common with more affordable bases and that's also a good point about the expensive base versus the cheaper options the comparison that's always going on you know people ask me all the time to do a shootout between this base right here and say the more expensive Ernie Ball version because they want to see if it sounds a lot better. I mean that bass is about four times more expensive than this one and what people are thinking is is that bass does it sound four times better than this one? Does it really justify the price? But really you shouldn't think of it this way because it's not just the sound or the tone of the bass. What you're getting when you buy a more expensive bass is also the quality of the materials, the quality of the build, and more importantly, the feel of the bass, which is huge and is also a big part of the sound. And I can tell you, if I do a shootout between these two basses and you're just listening to it in the video, they don't sound that different. I mean, obviously they do sound different, but is it like, does that one sound four times better? No, this is a great sounding bass. This one's gonna sound, you close your eyes and you listen to it, it's gonna sound almost just as good as that one. And there's a lot of people on YouTube doing comparisons between like a $10,000 Federa and a $200 Squire. And the difference isn't really that much as far as the sound. But really the difference is in feel. If you were to play this bass and then play the Ernie Ball one, I can tell you it definitely feels four times more expensive. I mean the neck on this bass right here is just incredible. It feels so good when you play this bass. And this one does not feel as good and the feel is something that's gonna affect your sound too because you know the cliche saying like the sound is all in the hands. Well, if a bass feels better and you can play better on it, is that bass gonna sound better? Of course, right? If your playing is smoother and easier on a certain bass, it's gonna sound better. There are things I can do on that bass effortlessly that I can't do as effortlessly on this one just because the neck doesn't feel as good, you know, and that goes for like every bass. So that's a big part of it too. So don't just think of, the affordable bass and the expensive bass as far as like tone because you know the electronics might be better but you can always swipe out the pickup on a cheaper bass that's not a big issue and then you have a really good electronic on it but it's really the feel the build quality the quality control stuff like that but as far as this fret issue it's not a huge deal because you can get it fixed you're just gonna have to take it to a professional to get a fret dress and fix that up. And usually when you get the more expensive bases, you won't have an issue like that because their quality control is very good. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you'll get an expensive base and you'll still have that issue. It really depends on the company and how good their quality control is, how good 
of a setup job they do in-house before shipping out the bases and if they check everything some companies do a better job than others that's just how it is so you know I'm not knocking the affordable bases because like I said this issue can happen with an expensive base too that's just something that happens and most of the cheaper bases that I bought such as this one have not had that issue it's not a common issue it just happens every once in a while it just so happens that it happened with this base and I haven't really fixed it because I'm not really gigging with this base so it doesn't really matter but that's what's going on there so it's not something you can just set up with the truss rod you're gonna have to take it to someone that can level out the frets and do a fret dress so I just wanted to do this video to address that and as a bonus just talk about the expensive option versus the most the more affordable option just to give you a little bit of insight as far as that because people have been asking me to do a shootout between this one and that one but I'm telling you right now like the sound the difference in sound is not going to be that huge and a shootout like that is not going to help you that much because you really have to feel the bass. You have to play them. You have to play this bass and play that bass to see the difference. Not only in sound, but the feel, the playability, everything. Just the neck, the body, the weight, the balance, the whole thing. You know, everything that goes into it. You really have to play basses and feel them and compare them. There's only so much you can get out of a video, you know. And sound wise, you can sound great on any bass. It doesn't really matter. The price does not matter. You can get a cheap used Squire, get some good strings on that, set it up and sound incredible on it. It doesn't really matter. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys. If you're having that issue where you're getting the buzz or the rattle on certain frets, that's what it is. Hope that helps you get it fixed. And uh, like this video if you like this video and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.